I found this old stool thrifting, and so I'm gonna restore it and upcycle it with this little cat bed. Why does that look so much better? Yeah. How did you actually do that? <laughs> Thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. So I found this stool thrifting and I loved it. I thought it was really cool. I'm I'm kind of just a sucker for rattan, rattan, what, however you say that, but it was all dented in. So I thought I would be able to fix that. And also Strudel, my cat Strudel really likes that vent. And so I thought I'd make like a little cat bed. So let's go. First thing that I wanted to do was to get the stain off of it, the varnish, whatever it is. So I had some stripper and it came in this nice little stripper spray thing and so first things first i put my sweet little kitty cat in a room and then i just filled up this little spray bottle it's cool that it came mm. with spray you usually have to like brush this on so it's nice to be able to spray it just blah, 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 all over you immediately kind of saw that it got dark and was reacting with the stain and yeah i put on gloves so scraping away you can see how it's taking the stain off already i use the paper towel to get off as much as i could a little gooby and Fun thing about uh, the stripper is it takes away the nylon gloves, latex gloves. I don't know what gloves I was wearing. Whatever it was, it ate right and ate them right away. That's the thought. That counts, right? <laughs> Anyways, so I just got off as much as that stain as possible with that stripper. Every time I say stripper, you guys, come on. Uh, and then sanded it away. Uh, so with it all sanded, I really liked. Like I didn't hate the the look of the varnish. But I feel like one way to date wood is to put a stain on it. One man's humble opinion. I feel like we're doing it raw. Oh, all these. Windows. Um, yeah, I feel like leaving the, the wood raw leaves it more of like a timeless look. And so I'm kind of a sucker for it, at least for right now. So maybe that's dated. I don't know. We'll see. So with it all sanded down, uh, time to work on that rattan. And so I wetted it down so it wouldn't be so frail. And the OG plan was to just take out the ones that were broken and that was making it sag. And then I'd come in with the rattan that I've used in last videos to fix it. But by the end of it, it was like missing so many that I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to take it right off. And then just redo the whole top. So taking a little razor blade, razor blade, I just zip zap zooped it off. I kind of wish I would have filmed somewhere completely quiet because this would have been a kind of a cool ASMR. And then maybe I wouldn't be talking over top of it, but instead, you get me talking. Wow. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that sounds so good. Maybe we'll make an ASMR video in the future. Who knows? So I got all of the rattan, all the reeds off the top there, but I still had that stuff in the holes, so I let it dry and then took like a little Allen wrench that fit the holes and just hammered him out hammered him clear got hammered one one of the nice things about clearing that top and starting fresh is i can now sand that top and make it look nice and pretty so i did that and then the reeds that i'm using are actually a little thicker than the original ones the original ones are like half the size of the hole where that one covers most of it so i probably should have drilled the holes bigger even bigger than i'm doing right now hindsight 2020 all that fun things but it worked in the end. So I drilled all the holes a little bigger so that it would fit and just looped them on in. So this first base layer is actually gonna be like the one that holds most of the weight. And so what I did to hold it steady was put a little bit of super glue, then shoved that Allen wrench in there to make it dry tight. And then I tightened her on up. Then I rotated around to do the other side, super glued that side, and then actually just used the drill bit so that it would dry right. And then you just move on to the next strand of reed. Oh, also, you want it nice and wet. I would soak these for like 15 minutes before using them. Then continue like kind of keeping them wet with the sponge or with the spray bottle. And by the time you're done with one reed, you can like move the drill bit to the next place to let it dry. So here I checked to see if that was the middle. It wasn't, so I corrected it. Just added that second layer on top. Got some help from this little bear here. What a good helping bear. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. I called it that night and started again the next morning. This this definitely took more time than I thought it would, but super stoked with how it ended up. So yeah, there's that spray bottle. I, I want to keep it nice and wet, 
especially for this next step because you need them nice and flexible when you're weaving in this third reed. So I weaved it on in. And actually I have a video on how to do this that will go in more depth. I believe it's called How to Weave with Wood. I'll put a link up in the top right. It has like more of a step-by-step -step process. So yeah, right here it was 5 o'clock in the morning. So I decided to call it with those tired eyes and started getting the next morning with that steamy cup of coffee. So the next side did that second half. And with that all done, you can move on to the diagonals. This is what's going to make that little kind of circle look of the rattan. And I was actually pulling on these super hard. And I think I broke probably like 10 or so of them. And when I did that, I'd have to like start at the back and like re-feed it through so that I'd have more slack on the end. Finish it off rather than just like pulling it out and starting over. I feel like that would be quicker. And maybe it was, but I don't know. So I had to do that a couple times. But I was actually really stoked with the ending result of this. Um, because the reed was a little thicker and the holes were like probably too close together for them, it made a really tight little circle. And you'll see here in the end as I do this second diagonal where it made like actual little squares rather than octagons, I believe it would be. One, two, three, four, yeah, octagons. And even still, I was really stoked with how it ended. Last thing here, I just had to clean up the edges. I did that with the razor blade. Sometimes I would be able to stick the little reeds in the hole. Other times I would just cut them and super glue them down. Then to hide the hole, I just put some super glue over the top and one of the reeds and just bent it around and glued it into place. I kind of wish I would have had a thicker one to hide more of my little mistakes and like the cuts, like the, the cut reeds where I wasn't able to stick them in the hole next to it because the hole wasn't big enough. But overall, real stoked, real sturdy. I could sit on that bad boy, rat meow. Clean off the bottom, I just took some scissors and cut them off. I think I went in after this shot and like did a better job at getting rid of them. But for now, it looks good. So next day, I decided I would start on that macrame part. And so I took the length to three, four times as long. And that's going to be my lark's head knot, I believe is what it's called. And again, I have actually have a video on how to macrame. So you can check that out. I'll probably put a link to that as well. And I'm just doing a alternating square knot. But I thought it'd be cool to get a shot where this was like on a lazy Susan and it could spin. So I headed to the store. Headed to the store? Why does that sound so weird? I went to the store and got one. Cute kitty cat. So with that lazy Susan, oh man. Walmart, I went to Walmart and it was a nightmare. But with that lazy Susan, I should be able to get the shot that I want. Not bad. That'll work. And here's the set shot. It didn't turn out quite how I thought it would in my head, but it's cool. <laughs> it works. And done. So to tie this off, I just took one strand that were across from each other and just started tying them all together till it was just this bundle of knots. And yeah, looked pretty good. I had this little pad thing, that's what I want to put on top for a little strudel to sleep on. I want to use this fabric, so I just traced around it. Then I want the other side to be this fabric, so I did this little sandwich thing and I'm gonna sew that together. So I just went and broke my roommate's sewing machine and then cut it out. I left a little hole so that I could flip it inside out and there she go. There's that little pillow case thing for that pad and now we're just gonna roll it up and stuff it in there. And cool, got a nice little pad for that cat bed. So as a kid, I used to eat cereal by the boatload. I loved it, I loved it, loved it. But because of how much sugar is in it, I actually can't do it now. I don't like it, and I've tried the healthy stuff. Yum. And I don't like it. It tastes like garbage. Yum. It tastes like nothing, or it tastes like I'm eating it out of a bathtub. That, you know, maybe I've been like working out for like five days or like six days and Ooh, haven't showered yet. And I'm like, gross. oh, I'm just gonna hop in the bathtub and eat some cereal. Don't it could do be fun. That. I don't know if this is good. It's Existential good. crisis. What is Why life? are you doing um, this to yourself? Uh -huh. Luckily, I found Magic Spoon. With their zero sugar, low carb, high protein, all you gotta do is rip open a box, pour some of that goodness in, add your favorite milk. I'm lactose intolerant, so I probably shouldn't be in a bathtub full of it. And eat right up. What I've got, you've got to get it, put it in you. How do I do that? <laughs> that was my first time trying it. I actually really liked the free time. Oh, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> they also have cocoa, frosted, and blueberry, so you guys can pick up your variety pack today. 
just go to magicspoon.com backslash schmood and use the promo code schmood at checkout to get some free shipping. I know you guys are going to love it. Magic Spoon knows you guys are going to love it. They actually have a 100% happiness guarantee. And if you guys don't love it, you'll get they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So you can have your cereal and eat it too. Just go to magicspoon.com backslash schmood and be sure to check out with the promo code schmood for your free shipping. All right, all right, all right. So back to the stool. The last thing I did was add little macrame stringy boys up here top to kind of tie the whole piece together is my, my thought. And done. He seems to like it lots. Those macrame strings there on the side actually served a nice little purpose of playing with him, which was cool. Didn't mean to do that. Also didn't really mean this video turned into like a room makeover, but it did. I did a lot of things off grandma, like cut those down. Then I also got rid of the skirt that was on my couch because I'm not a real fan of the skirt look. Thought it looked pretty cool. And all I did was roll that up. Oh, I guess I did kind of do this on camera, but I hammered the little rolled up part, then took the big skirt part, folded it over, and hammered those down then took tape on that part just to hold it up underneath the couch so that you can't see it. It worked pretty well. I also made this rattan lampshade for the piano. I have a video where I show you how to do rattan in any shape you want. I ended up doing a skull. If you want to check that video out, it was pretty cool. But yeah, here is the before. Nice. And the after. Pretty stoked on how it all turned out. Strudel seemed to like it. I think if I wasn't going to do a cat bed, more of my style would have been not to have any of that macrame or the cat bed. I mean, without the, the pad, it looks pretty good, but I probably would have just gotten rid of all the macrame and left it simple. Oh, also, I, I want your guys' opinion on these stacked rugs. My friend's girlfriend came over and said it looks like a meth head lived there, so cool. Um, so, uh, hope you liked the video. Um, uh, be sure to just like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification. And... Uh, yeah, I'll have, I'll have um, new, new videos coming out hopefully soon. Got it. And I don't know what my next video is, but I'm sure it's going to be good. Haha. <laughs>